Hey guys, my name is Orthodox and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be focusing on an in-depth guide for clearing Master Volk's Wrath. Before I begin, I would like to ask, if this guide helps you out, to please drop a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more Dragalia Lost guides and content. Also, consider joining my Discord from the description below. We're building a community of helpful and passionate players of all skill levels. And as always, I will have timestamps pinned in the comment section below to help navigate through the video. Before jumping into Volk's moveset and special abilities, let's quickly talk about the requirements for tackling Master Difficulty. You will need at least one Stun Res and one Sleep Res character on the team to successfully clear. A few examples of viable Stun Res characters are Marth, Yudin, Xania, and both alts of Mim. And a few examples of viable Sleep Res characters are Krom, Ezlith, Emma, Nobunaga, and Halloween Loan. Note Halloween Loan is the staple healer in this fight, and Marth is the strongest flame character in the meta at the moment, so either one is a solid investment for the fight, providing Sleep Res and Stun Res respectively. However, Master Volt can be cleared with a variety of different adventures. To illustrate this point, I'll be sure to showcase a clear I did using Mega Man at the end. Additional requirements will be a Max Unbound Tier 1 Akito weapon, and a good might range for pubs to consider if you're ready for the fight would be between 9.5k to 11k might. If you're having trouble reaching such a high might range, I would suggest leveling up the Flame Tree in the Halodome to level 25 by farming Expert and Standard Volk's Wrath. Let's take a look at Volk's special abilities. His first special ability is called Plague. This ability lowers affliction resistances on the unit. It is applied from Volk's move, Overwhelming Hunger, and from any of his wolves basic attacks. Plague can be removed via burst healing skills, and healing over time helps cure Plague faster. This affliction can be passed to Volk when he attacks any adventurers who have Plague, which is an important mechanic to understand in order to master this fight. Volk's second ability is Life Drain. Here Volk heals an additional percentage of HP based on how many adventurers he hits when he uses an attack. And note that when Volk is afflicted by Plague, his Life Drain ability is turned off for the duration of the Plague. This interaction is important to understand to best deal with Overwhelming Hunger into Steel Vitality, which we will go over in more detail in a little bit. Alright, now that we've gone over Volk's special abilities, let's start talking about his moves. I'll do my best to explain the overall patterns that Volk likes to do, but remember, with these new Agito boss fights, their moves are based on their remaining HP, and unlike the High Dragon Trials, they are not based on how much time has passed in the fight. Volk begins the fight with an unavoidable blast, then he'll roar and summon four wolves around him. When destroyed, these wolves will provide a small amount of Dragon Gauge, but be careful not to get hit by them, as they will apply Plague. Next, Volk will perform two Red Area Half Moon Swipes, and a delayed third swipe that hits in an area behind him. All these attacks are iframeable, and you can easily roll through them. Once the team has done enough damage, Volk will rotate to his next attack. Healers should look to cure any plague-afflicted adventurers, as Volk will charge momentarily before he releases four tornadoes in each diagonal direction, while summoning four traps, two stun traps in the north and south positions, and two sleep traps in the east and west positions. Note these traps are not randomized and will always spawn as such. Each player of the respective resistance must pop the traps by stepping on them. Failure to do so will result in the trap exploding in a large purple AoE and may end the run if an adventure of the opposite resistance is caught in the blast. Additionally note, the tornadoes go out and come back in to Volk in a linear path. Just be aware of them and plan not to get clipped. Afterwards, Volk typically summons more wolves and performs a dash attack targeting the farthest player. He'll either perform his swiping rotation or after a few moments return to the center, casting snapping squalls on two adventurers. The targeted players simply need to move to the outside of the arena and walk or roll clockwise around the map, ensuring the gale does not accidentally clip their teammates. Volk's next attack is Overwhelming Hunger into Steel Vitality. Note a couple things here to successfully navigate this part of the fight. All wolves must be destroyed for Volk not to skip Overwhelming Hunger. If not, Steel Vitality will be cast instantaneously and typically heals Volk back to almost full HP. Additionally, 
Adventurers not already afflicted by plague should look to get hit by overwhelming hunger. If you have plague on you, you can simply iframe the attack to avoid getting poisoned. Done successfully, all four adventurers will have plague on them, and Volk's Steel Vitality will simply allow you to transfer plague to him and prevent him from healing. Volk's next attack immediately after is four snapping squalls targeting all players. This can be dealt with by having each of the four players spread out to the north, south, east, and west corners and slowly roll or run clockwise. Although, you can completely skip this phase by taking advantage of the plague that is on Volk. I personally have been running Starlight Gift from Dragon Yule Cleo as a shared skill in public rooms to freeze Volk, skipping the four gales. To do this, you must wait for Volk to begin to walk to the center of the map. Once you see this, you may fire your freeze or stun skill and it will effectively cancel the four-way gale. Arctos is also a solid dragon to bring along for this effect, and he also pairs optimally with Ezolith. From here, Volk will walk downward and begin his resentment phase. Wolves will attack from the shrouds in a red line going north to south, while Volk performs red half-moon swipes targeting the closest player. Additionally, three trap phases will appear below. The rotation is set just like before. First, three stun traps will appear, then three sleep traps will appear, and finally two sleep traps with a stun trap in the middle will appear. It is important for adventurers to work together to clear out these traps, and be careful not to pop the trap if you have been plagued. After clearing the third set of traps, make sure to apply plague to yourself. Running into the Shroud is the fastest way to do so, as Volk will attempt a second Steel Vitality. Note this is also a great opportunity to stun or freeze him again, once he has been plagued. From here, Volk summons more wolves, and you may see him attempt four red dashes, and or another set of two Half Moon swipes. Afterwards, he'll look to summon a Blood Moon. Here, the Blood Moon drains HP from adventurers, but if you have Plague on yourself, you can once again cancel the Blood Moon via a Freeze or Stun skill. Without Plague, adventurers will need to work together to burst down the HP of the Blood Moon. Failure to do so will result in the end of a run. Afterwards, Volk may repeat the four traps and diagonal gales, then dash at the farthest player before the gales ends. If he begins to walk towards the center and perform snapping squalls again on two players, be prepared for overwhelming hunger into steel vitality cycle. Volk's final rotation is a blood moon within resentment. He will summon traps just like the previous resentment, three stun, then three sleep, then two sleep with a stun in the middle, all while the wolves attack with red dashes from north to south. Here you can burst down Blood Moon or quickly run into the Shroud, applying Plague to yourself and then to Volk. This allows you to cancel his Blood Moon again via Freeze or Stun skills. And just like that, you mastered Master Volk's Wrath. Congratulations! I've got some interesting clears that are coming up next, so feel free to check them out, but I'll be heading out for now. We'll revisit Expert Volk's Wrath next week, and as always, please let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next. Thanks again guys for all the support, and I'll see you in my next video. Behold the blade of purgation! This is no game, and I will kill you here and now! The sickness spreads unceasingly!
I must end this. My prayers are with you. The sickness spreads unceasingly. For real? My prayers are with you. I must end this. I won't hold back. Forgive me. For a peaceful future. Behold the blade of purgation. Sickness spreads unceasingly! Time to end in this place! My prayers are with Them to pieces. 
I must end it. Sorry. Ha, them to pieces. 
I must end you. Anything can change. My prayers are with you. I won't hold back. If she could see me now. I must end you. My prayers are with you. I won't hold back. My prayers are with you. The disease, it burns within me. Together. I owe this victory to my friends. Behold the blade of purgation. But now, awaken despair! The sickness spreads unceasingly! Bring me this blessing! My prayers are with you! Charming! I must end you! I must end you. 